just a short video on proper testing of laptop RAM. You can see this is a high quality Samsung 512 meg PC2. So you know there's high demand for that. So I have this uh, device that um, I actually use for testing lamps. Let me slide my uh, adapter on. Uh, I can't do that. It's only hooked up to the outer two pins. The inner two pins are for something else. Get that. There we are. Plugging that in one-handed. And then this end would plug into a lamp. And I could see if the lamp was striking. Like this one, for instance. I press the test button. And I can see that there's an arc inside the lamp. Looks good. So, I'm going to disconnect that, move that out of the way, and let's see where the electricity goes. And uh, I'm going to warn you, you're probably going to want to turn your speakers down, headphones, etc. Three, two, one. <laughs> welded itself. So they say you shouldn't have static near RAM. Let's see if that really is true. So you think that stick's still good? Let's see. I don't see any burn marks, so maybe. There's a couple resistors. Kind of hoping for something to pop, but I don't think that's going to happen at this low current. I think that's about 7,000 volts at 2 milliamps, probably less microamps, maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, Whew. smells like ozone in here too much of that. Oh, there's a little mark I made. So yeah, I'm going to uh, pretty much assume the stick's bad. If I had something to put it in, I'd try it. Let's see what happens to the capacitor. Put that on one side and see if it... Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I have it in there, so it's a nice arc across like that. Hmm. So I'll set it on there and walk it around. It's probably dead now. Thanks for watching.